Hello, this is J. Paul Zimmerman, and you're watching Z-60, the ZFO Weekly News Update. We've got quite a lot on our plate today, from toys to television and maybe even some social commentary. But first, John, show us the pops. Hi, John here for another wonderful pop on update. Now coming to Walgreens soon is the Green Goblin Chase. He's metallic. Now for every certain amount of pops, 6, 10, 12, whatever, this one pop comes out with them that's a variant of that exact pop. There's no release date on them, it just says coming soon. That typically means about a month or so. Head to Walgreens, ask, look if uh, you really want him. Now Walmart is also getting an exclusive, not a chase, but it's the unmasked Kylo Ren. They got the unhooded Kylo Ren a while back, but now that the movie's out and hopefully everyone's seen the film so they know what Kylo Ren looks like, they have that version of him. Now there's no real spoilers if you want to check it out, check the glam shot out before you go and hunt for it. That's also coming soon, about a month-ish. Now, Quentin Tarantino's film was just released, his eighth one, The Hateful Eight. They're also getting a full line of pops. Now it's about six, so it's not the full eight in the film. However, some of the major characters for wrestling and stuff. That's coming in February. But that's all the time we have for today, so this is John, signing out. Thank you, John. Well, everybody, before you run out and buy all those new pops, you're going to want to stick around for the latest television news from co-producer Bradley Pierce. Hey, everybody, Bradley Pierce here with your Z-60 weekly update. Uh, today we are talking about a brand new sci-fi show that is scheduled for Spike TV's release January of 2017. It's called Red Mars, and it's based on the Kim Stanley Robinson trilogy uh, that also includes the books Green Mars and Blue Mars. Now, what's great about this is it covers the variety of social issues, just like Game of Thrones did, everything from psychology to religion, uh, everything else, as Mars is being colonized. It also looks like it could be awesome because it's got Vince Gerardis, who is the producer of Game of Thrones, attached to this as the executive producer. And for better or worse, it has Babylon 5's creator, J. Michael Straczynski, leading the writing team. It looks awesome, and it could do for sci-fi what Game of Thrones did for fantasy and make it popular with everybody again. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Cheers. Thanks, Bradley. I should be almost nearly done binging all the TV shows I'm currently working on by January 2017, so I'll be sure to check that out. And now, scoot a little bit closer. It's Brendan time. Hey, Z-60, this is Brendan McKay, and this is your sci-fi fantasy news. Suicide Squad released a brand new trailer this week. If you haven't seen it already, please check it out so you can see how desperate DC really is to be relevant in Hollywood. Also, they use America's most beloved song, Bohemian Rhapsody, which is pretty exciting and makes me want to see the movie. Whatever. In sad news, Chinese movie theaters have rejected the Deadpool movie due to its graphic language, nudity, and violence. China has no objections, however, to manufacturing the merchandise. Go figure. I'm gonna wrap things up because the sun's coming out and it's destroying my pale complexion, but in other DC news, has anybody been watching Legends of Tomorrow? I have zero interest in it, so I assume since I don't have interest in it, no one else does. That's how it works, right? But it is the golden age of television, so check it out. It might be good, it might be bad, I don't know. That's it for Sci-Fi Fantasy News. Tune in next time because I desperately need your attention. Thank you, Brendan. Well, everybody, that's all the time we have for today. Well, we could take more time, but you probably have other things to do. One last thing, don't forget to tune in to the return of the X-Files this Sunday, January 24th. The truth is something, something. This really has been a while. We'll be seeing you in the future.